I'm sure I'm not the only one that hates to admit that I've struggled with keeping kids engaged when teaching vocabulary. Sometimes I feel like the teacher who writes a million words on the board and then says, you have 24 hours to learn these words. And then I send them home with a bunch of flashcards for homework. The next day I say to the kids, okay, we're having a test. Then I mark the tests and everybody does awful. Of course they do. I rush it. I leave it to the last minute, I do a bare minimum of work, and the students are bored. <clears throat> and I feel like I've had this habit sometimes over the years. Until I found this vocabulary game. I realized that this game that I've been playing in math could be used for any other type of vocabulary. I saw the benefits of putting in a little bit of extra work to make activities that were fun and engaging. I wish that I had come to this realization sooner because I was stressed out and we weren't having fun. And that's what I want to show you. I want to show you this simple vocabulary game to help make teaching easier and improve vocabulary acquisition in your little language learners. The kids love this game and become obsessed with playing it every single day. Salut! My name is Kate Dumichel and I'm a Canadian teacher I'm the creator of the YouTube channel Meta Mindset that makes Brain Break videos in French. I truly believe that playing games and having fun is the best way to learn quickly. So the game that I'm talking about is called Où est Moustache? When I first started teaching, I noticed that the students have trouble remembering the names of the numbers in French. So I tried this game. I printed off images of cups with numbers on them and the image of a cat that I hide behind one of the cups and I had my trusty friend laminate them for durability. I cut out all the images and I put magnets on the back of them so that I can put them onto the whiteboard. The object of the game is to guess behind which cup the cat is hidden. Here's how to play. First, I place the images on the board like so. Then I review the vocabulary. At the beginning of the year, we count the numbers in order. But as we go on, I might choose the numbers that the students are having difficulty identifying. I ask the students to hide their eyes and I hide the cat moustache behind one of the numbers. Then the students take turns guessing, saying, Est-ce que moustache se cache derrière le numéro? I point to the number and then I say, Voici le numéro Voici le nombre Then I move the image like so and I say, No, moustache ne se cache pas derrière le numéro If a student said 13, but they meant 30, I show them what the number 30 looks like. The first variation of this game that I made was for geometry. I find that first and second graders often mix up triangle and rectangle, as well as pyramid and prisme. So I made some cards so that we could practice the names of the shapes on a daily basis. I even simplified this game and I've played it with kindergartners before and it worked very well. We always start by reviewing the names of the colors and the shapes. These kids didn't want to stop playing. In my TPT store, there are several different versions of this game already available, but if you don't see one that you need, you can make a comment below or you can send me an email and make a suggestion and I'll add it to my to-do list. Now, this is the most important aspect of this game, to play it every single day. At the beginning of the year, I start with the numbers and the letters. I continue on throughout the year because usually the first graders love this game so much that all I have to do is switch out the images. They love the challenge. I use it as a hook for all sorts of lessons. If it's for math, I start my lessons by playing this game. If it's for writing or reading, we use it to review vocabulary that they could be using or reading. The options are endless. Another great part about this game is that you can easily put it into learning centers for extra practice. My students love that. So there you have it. A fun and engaging way for students to learn and practice vocabulary words. Try it, you won't regret it. If you want to use this game, I've got you covered. Check out the link in the description below to Madame Mindset TPT Store 
There's several versions available there. If you already use this game, let me know if you enjoy it and if the kids have fun. Coming soon, a video about brain breaks, explaining how and why I use them when I teach. Thank you so much for watching. À la prochaine!